Hello everybody. We're going to be working through a little bit of a band activation class um, for glutes and a little bit of core stability. Just something to add into your regimen currently. So uh, we're going to get started warming up without the band. Um, so you can just keep that onto the outsides. We're going to get started on our all fours. We're going to take a few fire hydrants to wake up the glutes. Maybe we start with those cat cows to get things going. Just working in throughout the spine. We'll take a few of those. And when you're feeling good there, we'll go ahead and work through those fire hydrants. So flexing throughout the foot, knee comes out to an angle, and then we bring it back into the side. We'll take about 10 here. That's two. Just priming our glutes before we add that band activation. Good. Just about four or five more here on this side. And we'll go ahead and switch it out, even everything out. Good, again, let's get through those 10 total, getting our glutes ready to go. Flexing throughout the foot. Good, nice neutral spine. We got three more, three, that's two. And last one, we'll go ahead and push it up into a downward facing dog. Pedal out those feet from side to side, take whatever else you might need here. Shooting those hips back and behind, press uh, throughout those hands. Good, opening up throughout the shoulders and just getting in throughout our posterior chain. We're going to walk it on back into a forward fold. Just hang out here, shifting from side to side. Good, and we'll slowly roll it all the way up to standing. We're going to work through a few body weight squats we come, before we come down to our back, putting on our band. So body weight squats, driving those knees outward. Again, as we're setting up our squat stance, make sure that you're screwing your heels into the ground. Right, so that's gonna help us activate the outer glutes and inner thighs as we work through them. Take about two more here. Coming up to standing, we're just gonna take some kickbacks. Let's alternate our legs back and forth. Again, working in throughout the glute, priming it, getting things ready to go. Excellent, let's take about one more per side here. And um, we'll shake that on out, guys. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start by putting our band above the knees here, working onto our back. So go ahead and stand it on up. Put that band again above the knees to get things started here. If we're having a tough time uh, keeping that band up, you're always welcome to bring it just a little bit below. I prefer it to be up for this first set. Okay, we're going to work through timed exercises. We've got three exercises working through on our back. We're going to go through the whole thing three times through, and then we'll come up and get new movements standing. So first exercise we're going to get things going with is going to be a hip raise with abduction, lowering back down, one vertebrae at a time, and then pushing it back up. Knees go wide, and we lower back down. All right, 30 seconds of fun. I'm doing it with you. We're going full force in three, two, and one. Let's rock and roll, y'all. Hips go up, knees go out, back in, and down. One vertebrae at a time, right? We're keeping our core nice and tight here as we extend away, just priming those glutes, getting our hamstrings going, a big hip hinge. This is one of my preferred motions to do, especially before any uh, lower body day, just to get everything warmed up and ready to go. We got five more seconds right here, guys. Let's finish it on out for three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Let's go ahead and turn to our side body. Okay, we're gonna work through some clams. So keeping that band where it is, we're just gonna keep the heels together, open up, and close it back up. We're full force in three. 30 seconds in two, and one. Let's go for it, team. Good, so nice neutral spine here, right? If we'd like to come down to this side body, we can get a little bit more extension. So we drive those knees away. Awesome job. You should feel that glute start to fire up. We've got our final push right here. 10 seconds, guys. Stick with me. Good. Connect with that breathing. We've got our final five. Finish it on out. In three, two, and one. Well done, guys. We're going to go ahead and straighten those legs, staying on this side just to really activate the glute before we scoot on to the next. We've got this lying leg extension. So again, my goal here is to keep my foot flexed. Okay, heels are gonna stay in line as I extend away, and we're not rotating throughout the hip. All right, it should not go very far. We're going full force in three, two, and one. Let's go for it, team. Keeping that core nice and tight. 
Good, again, you can see I'm flexing my foot, not pointing, so that way I get in throughout the glute a little bit more. Maybe you slightly turn that toe a little bit downwards. It's gonna help us control our range of motion and help us not turn out. Team, we got 10 seconds left right here. Let's work through it. My glutes are fired up. We got our final push right here, team. Come on, for three. Let's go for two and one. Well done. All right, let's switch it out. Other side, same two movements. Okay, coming down to that side body. We're gonna get things going with our clams, starting together in three, two, and one. Let's rock and roll. Team, we are on, we are up. Again, feel free to take whatever variation you can. Sponsored by Snow Shape, right? We all got our band. There we go. We are officially halfway through. So again, keeping the tension on the band the whole entire time, that's gonna be real important, right? We're not giving up or letting gravity do half the work. You got five more seconds here to finish it out. Five more seconds, let's go for three, two, and one, well done. All right, straighten out those legs. Again, flexing throughout the foot. We're keeping the tension on the band. Notice I never bring my feet together. Okay, right, I want my tension on the band the whole time. We're full force in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Nice flex foot, all the way out and away. Again, if you'd like to tur turn that toe slightly down, it'll help you with your range of motion and make sure that we're not turning out and opening the hip, instead just getting in throughout the glutes. Hey, we are halfway. Good work. Come on, team, finish it on out. Final 10 right here. Let's go, we've done it on one side, we got it, even it out, no selling yourself short. Let's finish it on out as a team for three, come on, for two, and one, well done. All right, one round, check, we got two more to go. Flip it on over onto your back. We'll get started with those hip raises. We've been here before, so let's add something, right? We can work through a little bit of tempo. Maybe we pick up our reps, either way, we're full force in three, two, and one, let's go for it. Hip raise, abduction away, and lower back down. Excellent work. Fabulous job, squad. We are halfway right now. 30 seconds, you're finishing it on now, nice and strong. Again, keeping that core tight. The glutes should be feeling it. Booty blast, I'm all about it. Let's go team, finish it on out for three, two, and one, well done. Rocking over onto our side. We're starting with the clams. Right leg is going up. We are full force in three, two, and one. Let's go. 30 seconds. Again, we can be elevated on this elbow, or if you'd like to increase that range of motion. Let's try our best to keep those heels together. Good, just getting in throughout the glute. And again, you can squeeze your core here too. Breathe through it. We're past halfway. You guys are doing great. Final 10. Last big push, you got five seconds to wrap it up. In three, two, and one. Straighten out those legs. Let's burn it down, folks. We're full force in three, two, and one. Let's go. All right, keeping the foot nice and flexed. Core is tight. Got a little beach babe pose. Looking good, feeling great. We're halfway. Crushing it, y'all. All right, 10 more seconds right here. Let's get it going. Prime those glutes, nice flex foot. Finish it on out. Ooh, I'm cram cramping up. Come on, three, two, and one. Well done, let's even it out. Other side, guys, spin it around. Let's get that thing started. We're working through our clams in three, two, and one. Let's rock and roll. Awesome, again, keeping the tension here. So I never bring my knees totally to touch. The goal is to keep the tension. Fabulous job. If you wanna increase your difficulty a bit, you can add a bit of tempo. So maybe we go out really fast on one and then slow in for three, two, one. Out on one, in three, two, one. Nice and fast, out, in three, two, and one. Well done, guys, we're straightening out those legs. Finishing it out, second round. Straight legs, we're full force in three, two, and one, let's rock and roll. Good, flexing throughout the foot. Oh, it's got me already. All right. 
dragging the booty right here. Nice and strong. I'm flexing throughout that foot. You guys are doing great. Right. We are past our halfway point. Well done, team. Coming to 10, coming to 10. Let's push till the end. Woo! All right. Final five. Come on, team, for three, two, and one. We're done. Third and final round right here. We're going to add our tempo together um, kind of as we practice on that second round through. Um, so let's head through it. We're going to go up nice and fast on one. Okay, we're going to take four abductions here. We're just going to bump it up a little bit because why not? Four abductions and then nice and slow. On the way down, we'll go up on one. Four abductions and lower back down. we got 30 seconds of rock star fun. We're hopping into it in three. Two on one, let's go for it. Nice and quick, up on one, out for four, three, two, and one. Lower down nice and slow. Three, two, and one. We're up and out for four, three, two, one. Lower down for four, three, two, one. Keep the tension up and out. Three, two, and one. Lower down, four, three, Two and one, last set. Up, out, four, three, two, one. Lower down for four, slow, three, two, and one. Knock it over. Here we go, folks. Locking it in. We're headed to it. Clam starting here in three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna go up nice and fast, out on one, and then slow in for three, two, and one. Adding tempo, up. Down three, two, one. It's up. Three, two, one. Come on, up. Halfway. Three, two, one. So notice it's the same motion, but we're just adding tempo. It increases our difficulty some way. Good. A little trick to use for all, all exercises. Excellent, guys. Finish it on out. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Straighten out those legs. Glutes should be on fire here. We're working through it. Flexing throughout the foot. We're going to work with that same tempo up on one, in for four, three, two, one. We're all together as a team. In three, two, and one. Let's get it going. Flex. Four, three, two, one. Quick up. Four, three, two, one. Out and away. Up. Four, three, two, one. Halfway. Doing great, guys. Nice and slow. Again, the tension should stay the whole entire time, even as we're going slow on the way back in. That tension should stay. Last one together, here we go. Up, down, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Last set on this side, and we're coming up to standing after this. All right, we're full force. In three, two, and one, let's go, lift. We're going four, three, two, and one. Again, lift. Four, three, two, and one. Doing great. Coming close to our halfway point, guys. Last time we're here today, how are you going to finish it on out? With that tension, nice and strong. Up real quick, in real slow. Let's try to get two more in right here. Last one, finish it out. Excellent work, guys. Straighten out those legs. We're headed to our last laying down exercise, so enjoy it. We're coming up to standing up for this. We're full force. Flex the foot in three, two, and one. Let's rock it. Out and away. In nice and slow. Out and away. In nice and slow. Especially if you feel to get stronger with this motion, make sure that we're still flexing that foot and we're not opening our hip at all. Good. The height is not the goal. It's keeping that tension. It's turning that toe slightly down. Staying nice and strong. We're getting close, y'all. Final five. Come on. Three, two, and one. Well done, team. Standing on up. Hopefully those glutes are feeling good. We're coming up to our standing position. We are off the ground for the rest of uh, this time. All right. So first motion we're going to be working through is going to be that body weight squat uh, with the band, obviously. Um, so just as we had practiced in the warm-up, the goal here again is going to be to turn those knees outward. So if you think about screwing your heels into the ground, right, think about what that does to your legs. From the very base, all of a sudden my knees drive out, my glutes are active, and my inner thighs are active. So keep the tension on the band, drive those knees out, rolling to the edge of those feet. We're rocking straight to it. 
Body weight squats in three, two, and one. Let's go for it, y'all. Knees are out, okay? Driving through those heels. Again, I'm rolling to the edges of the feet, screwing the heels into the ground. Chest should stay up nice and high. Core is tight at the top. Hopefully you guys are in front of a mirror or something that you can see your form a little bit. There's a huge difference between using the band and not using the band. So let's take a look. If I'm not using the band, I'm just squatting. Looks something like that. If I use the band, looks like that, right? Finish it on out. For three, two, and one. All right, headed to our next motion. Okay, we're going through what I like to call a stanky leg. All right, so we're coming into our low squat position. We're gonna hold here. Only the right knee is gonna move out to the side and then back in, like the stanky leg, right? So we can get a little freaky with it if you want. We're going full force. 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Low squat, let's go. Right leg out and in. Out and in. You can see that both of my heels are on the ground. The only thing that is moving is this knee. It's okay if it hardly moves at all. No big thing. You guys are doing great. Do not come up. Stay low, stay low. Stick with that integrity of your squat. All the weight should be in the heels. The chest should be up. The core should be tight. We're stanky legging, stankening. Yeah, stanky legging out. All right, yep, three, two, and one. Well done, stand it up. Shake it out and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, coming down to that low squat position, let's even it on out. We're full force in three, two, and one. Let's go for it, y'all. Staying low, left knee is out. Fabulous. Again, check in on that form. Is your chest up? Is your core tight? Are your weight in your heels? Is your smile on? Let's go. We finish it out, y'all. Come on, we're past halfway. Woo, I'm feeling it. Let's go, final 10. Out and in, just that knee is moving. Nothing else, we're so close. You got three, two, and one. Woo, all right, that'll get you good. Okay, final exercise here in our standing grouping. We're gonna take that band and lower it down to the ankles. Okay, keeping the tension, we're working on single leg kickbacks. Okay, time to get a little bit more hamstring activation. We just burned out the quads. It's time, uh, we got into the glutes. Time to move on those hammies. We're going full force, right leg kick back in three, two, and one. Let's rock it. Nice and strong kickbacks. Again, you can notice I'm keeping the tension on the band, kicking away, bringing it in nice and strong and controlled. Okay, so to intensify that exercise, Right, we make it a little bit more controlled with our tempo. You're finishing it out. We got 10 seconds left here. Nice and strong. Keep that core tight. Well done, team. We're almost there. Final push for three, two, and one. Stand it up. Shake it out. Get yourself ready to go. We are full force. Other side in three, two, and one. Let's rock and roll, team. We're going for it. Again, keeping the tension on the band. Keeping that chest up nice and high. Big, strong glute extension. Kicking it back and behind. We're halfway. Finish it on out, y'all. We got 10 seconds left. Strong stability. Breathe with it. Hamstrings, glutes firing up. Posterior chain for three, two, and one. All right, y'all. Let's do it again. Okay, band comes back up above the knees. We're headed into our banded squat. Okay, second time we're here out of three. We're full force. We've been here before. We know what to do, so let's bump it up. We're up in three, two, and one. Let's go. Okay, again, check in on that form. Driving those knees out. Slow it down. Do it right. If you need to turn to the side, take a look at that squat form. You're more than welcome to do that especially in a mirror if you have the ability. It's good to check in on that depth and take a look at those knees turning out. We're almost there, guys. Five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Well done. Keep the band where it is. We're coming down into that low squat position, working on the stanky leg, starting with the right side. We are full force in three, in two, and one. Let's rock and roll, y'all. Staying nice and low, stanky leg. Let's get it rocking. Okay, make sure that all of that weight stays back. 
So go ahead and wiggle both your toes as we're working through this. Right, that's gonna double check to make sure that all of our weight is in our heels. Our chest should be up nice and high. Our core should be nice and tight. Again, the heel stays on the ground. The heel stay on the ground. Just my knee is mo moving. We got three, two, and one. Stand it up. Oh boy, I'm feeling it. All right, head it to it. Building that booty together, y'all. We got it. Full force, other side in three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice and low squat position. Set it up. Get it moving. Good. Check in on that breath, on that breathing. We did it on one side. We got to even it out. Stay strong. I like to put on some music. If you can find the beat, kind of holds on to that tempo a little bit. Stick with it, guys. We got five seconds left right here to finish this out. In three, two, and one. Stand it up. Band comes down around the ankles. Woo, we're getting it all in. Time for that hamstring work. Big extension, right leg starts in three, two, and one. Let's go for it, y'all. Again, keeping the tension. Oh, I'm flushed. I'm flushed, I'm sweating. Let's get it going, y'all. Nice and strong. We're at that halfway point. Again, keeping that core tight. Nice, strong single leg stability here. Keeping the tension of the band, even as we bring our feet together, that tension is still there. Three, two, and one. Nice work. About 10 seconds rest recovery. We hit the other side. We're going full force in three, two, and one. Let's rock and roll squad. Other side, finish it on out. It's our second of third set, three sets. You guys are doing great. We're almost there. 15 seconds in, 15 to go. Doing good on time, doing great. All right, 10 seconds, y'all. Finish it on up. We did it on one side, we gotta even it out. Final push right here for three, two, and one. Well done. That's uh, last time through right here. Move into it, third and final round, and we'll call it a day after that. Cool, standing position, let's get this thing rocking. Starting with those squats, y'all. Let's see them. Three, two, and one. All right, we're headed down. We're gonna start to add tempo to this, right? Let's keep it tempo. We're headed down nice and strong on one. You're gonna go up for four, three, two, one. Drop, up for four, three, two, one. Drop, up four, three, two, one. Drop, come on, y'all, all the way. Four, three, Two, one, last one, drop. Up four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, stanky leg. We're gonna add the tempo coming into it. We're gonna go out nice and quick on one. In for four, three, two, one. All right, coming down. Let's hit that squat position. We're going full force, 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go for it, y'all. Out on one, in four, three, two, one. Out, in slow, four. Three, two, one. We're uh, 10 seconds in. Nice and slow. That tension should be strong. Take a look at that left knee. Make sure it's still out. Almost there, guys. Come on, 10 seconds left. Finish it out. Adding that tempo makes me sweat. Go, you're in. Come on, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Stand it up, shake it out. All right, all right. Moving on to that other side. Left leg, we gotta even it out. We are going full force. In three, two, and one. Let's go for it, y'all. Staying in that low squat position, we're adding that tempo. I think it's what, Lizzo, and there's another person in that song. It's like, fuck it up to the tempo. Missy Elliott, thank you. Woo! If I could put on a song, that's what I'd be putting on. That's the theme of today's class. We're out. And we're in. Weight in the heels, y'all. Come on. Take a look at that right knee. It should be facing out. Final push. Three, two, and one. Whew, I'm sweating. All right. Taking that band down and around the ankles. Final set of kickbacks, and we are calling it a day. Let's lock it in. 30 seconds apiece. Tempo it is. Three, two, and one. Let's go out on one. In for four. Three, two, one. Kick it out. In three, 
two, one. Yes, nice and strong. Big kickbacks. Strong stability, strong core. Y'all got it rocking. We got 10 seconds left to finish this out. Whew, come on. For three, two, and one. Stand it up, take a second. We're moving to our last motion here. Evening it out. We're up in three, two, and one. Good, proud of you, Rick, for knowing Misty Elliott. That's good, that's real good. Yeah, oh, huge Misty fan, he's a huge Misty fan. Come on, bring it in, y'all. All the way in, nice and slow. Again, take a look at that tempo. Fuck it up to the tempo. Come on, bring it in. Y'all got it, last five seconds right here, let's even it out. Three, two, and one. That is time, team. I'm gonna give you one stretch right here. Um, coming down onto all fours. You're gonna go ahead and take your right leg back and behind, flex throughout the foot, put it behind the left leg. Put all the weight in the heel. Now go ahead and make a half moon position by looking at your heel, right? The more that we push back into that heel, the more we're gonna be able to feel that stretch into our outer glute. We'll go ahead and switch sides. One of my favorite stretches. Again, all the weight should be in the heel. Look, in, look back at it. There's another song reference for you. Ha. And that's that, y'all. Well done, good job on the bands. Uh, again, we work, it, we work through all a lot of lower body stability. Uh, you guys did great. We'll have another band class coming for you next week. So hopefully you're able to integrate this into uh, the workouts that you've been doing for this week and we'll see you next week.